What is up, Citizen Discourse family? My name is Meta Sarmiento, and today I wanted to talk to you about the kindness contract. Here we go. So let's say you get hired for a job. Before you start that job, you have to sign a document or a mountain of documents that state you're going to follow the employer's rules and regulations, guidelines, protocols, all of that stuff. And if you don't, you get terminated. Well, Citizen Discourse has a contract that functions very similarly to that, except ours is way more inviting and way cooler. So let's check it out. So this is how the kindness contract looks. You'd write your name here, and after you've read and understood all the statements, you would sign your name here and then date it. If you don't have the hard copy, there will be a digital version available for you to sign, and that link will be posted somewhere. So here are the seven statements to the kindness contract. I wish I could go over every single one with you, but I only have time to maybe go over three. The first one I want to touch on is listen to understand. So there's a difference between hearing someone and listening to someone. When you hear someone, they're talking or explaining things and everything's just hitting your face and nothing's like actually happening up here. When you listen to someone, you're actually taking in what they're saying, you're deconstructing the things they're talking about, you're not distracted by your cell phone, you're not paying attention to the extremely attractive person walking by. Nah fam, right here, we're right here. So when you listen to understand, you're actually prepared to have an exchange of ideas. So the next statement I wanted to talk to you about is support ideas with evidence and experience. Well, what does that mean? It means be honest. Don't make stuff up. You ain't got to lie to kick it, bruh. Here's an example. Poet Maya Angelou once said, Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. What? She's a great poet. What if I told you a person takes 23,040 breaths a day, which means they take 672,768,000 breaths in a lifetime. You'd probably ask where I got my information from, right? Am I making this thing up? Well, I'm not. I read it in an article published by the Herald Tribune in around, I think, 2010, something like that. Boom! I decided my source. That's what that statement in the contract means. It means cite your sources. It means be truthful. So the last statement I wanted to go over with you is invite wonder. Well, what does that mean? <laughs> well, Citizen Discourse believes that any good thing that exists in this world started with a strong imagination. And at the root of that imagination is the ability to wonder, the bravery to ask a hard question, and the courage to chase down the answer. I'm super excited to see what you create and share on our platform. I'll see you again next time. Peace.